Uh, Council direct the city manager to report back to the executive committee in the second quarter of 2025 with a set of principles for bidding on large international events. Uh, Councillor Candevel started down this path saying let's have a report on lessons learned. But more importantly than that, I think we as a council need to sit down, look through what the issues are that happen when we host these large international events and establish a set of principles. If we do nothing but pay and have no revenue, we don't bid. If it means that uh, human rights won't be protected, we don't bid. If it's not going to meet our transform TO principles, we don't bid. And the problem we've got right now is the city staff uh, bid on an item without knowing what it is council wants to do and we wind up in these debates saying, you know what, we really shouldn't have let that horse out of the barn. And it's terrible trying to chase the horse saying, you know, this would be better if we met our environmental goals. This would be better if we had a better revenue sharing agreement. This would be better if we understood what the policing and transit impacts would be on the City of Toronto. So my motion quite simply says is, let's set our bar. Set the bar so that international organizations who want to host an event here in the City of Toronto know up front what our bottom lines are. And then, and also city staff know when people approach them about these things, they can hand them a document saying, these are the terms and conditions you're going to have to meet. If you can't meet them, shop your event somewhere else. If you can meet them, let's start a conversation. It's asserting the principles that the City of Toronto has for hosting events in writing so that we only host events when those conditions are met. Thank you.